Hey guys, this is Echo Sour, and you're checking out a how to use Spire tutorial course. So what we're gonna be looking at in this tutorial course is Reveal Sound Spire. Now this is a synthesizer, and I'm gonna present this in a little bit of a different way. I don't want it to turn into like a boring video manual, because there's already a PDF manual for Spire, and I'm sure it's lovely. So I'm gonna teach you how I like to tackle synths, and we're gonna start from kind of like the beginning of my process, which is, we're gonna look at the first few things I always do when I get a new synth, or if it's a synth that I don't understand yet or haven't really used a lot, there's certain things that I will do so I start to understand how to use that synthesizer. So we're gonna, we're go our end goal with this tutorial course is to be able to make pretty much any sound inside of Spire. Now I know that sounds like an audacious marketing buzzword claim, right? But we're going to be able to do that because that's what sound design is in essence. It's being able to use a synthesizer, to use an instrument, to use some type of software, in this case, Reveal Sound Spire, and be able to make something that you either hear in your head or hear in real life. Whether it's some crazy sound you dream up in your head or whether you're trying to copy or mimic or create a sound for a certain genre. It could be future bass, it could be tropical house, it could be any type of EDM, pop, hip hop, doesn't matter. We're gonna go for a complete understanding of the synth. So then you're not fighting limitations. The only limitation is what you can literally, as cliche as this sounds, and I can't believe I'm saying it, what you dream up. <laughs> oh, that felt gross saying it, but you get what I'm, hopefully you get my point. A lot of, a lot of times I feel like, because I get asked questions all the time about sound design stuff, uh, it's the limitation or the, the, the hard part about synthesis is just not knowing what to do and when to do it that's really it. Outside of that, I look at synths as just tools for an extension of me being able to vocalize weird sounds I come up with in my head. So this is just the introduction video to the tutorial course. It's going to be broken up into individual sections, so you can easily navigate it here on Sonic Academy. And we're going to, we're going to go through, actually, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do my little thing that I always do when I get a new synth. And it's what I would say, if you could go back in time to the first 30 minutes of when you had Spire, these are the things you should have done because it'll really help cement your understanding of the synth. Now we're gonna work through all of the dials, knobs, uh, sliders, faders, all that sort of stuff, but we're gonna do it from a point of sound design, not just a video manual where I go all NPR on you guys and be like, this slider does this. Don't wanna do that to you. So we're gonna, as we progress through the tutorial course, you're, you're, you're going to definitely learn all the different parameters and components within Spire and in the synth. But we're gonna be doing it with a focus of sound design and what it really does in that type of arena, not necessarily just understanding what this knob does and what this slider does. Of course, we're gonna talk about the layout. We're gonna talk about all of the different features of the synth in quite de uh, in good amount of depth so you really feel comfortable with it. And once we start to go and kind of work our way through understanding the basic sections of the synth, we're gonna be building a bunch of sounds from scratch in Spire because that is the best way to learn how to use a synth. So without further ado, I will see you in the next video where we're gonna be talking about your first 30 minutes inside of Reveal Sound Spire. I will see you guys there.